Got an older Whirlpool fridge where the freezer is leaking water down into the shelves. I've got a handy steamer here. Before I start taking everything apart, I'm gonna fill this up with water and turn it on so it heats up. While I'm doing the disassembly, remove the bottom shelving, remove the ice maker so that I can access the drain pan for this freezer. It's also wise to turn the power off before servicing the freezer or fridge. Removing the fan cover and air distributor was giving me a little trouble right here. As you can see, if we look down towards the bottom, it is completely covered in ice. Luckily, the steamer was just about ready. Um, breaking free some of the ice here with a screwdriver. Do this at your own risk. You could puncture the freezer plastic. It won't hurt nothing. It's more of a cosmetic thing but the steamer will make a quick job out of this and it's a lot safer. Now I can remove the back cover and air distributor. Also smart to wear gloves as these edges can be sharp. Right here we see the drain pan is completely covered in ice. Just take a long flathead screwdriver and gently pop under the drain pan. And I found this is the easiest way to crack the ice. But when these drain pans are covered in ice like this and you're not seeing the coils frozen, most likely cause for this is a clogged up frozen drain line. This can happen for a variety of reasons with these older Whirlpool models that are about 15, 20 years old. It's just a bad design. I'm gonna use my steamer with the extension and just shove it right down the hole and let it go full blast. Usually you can tell when the drain line is fully clear. I usually empty almost the entire steamer down the drain line as I wanna make sure that it's clear. Then I'm just gonna dump some water down and make sure that the water is draining. This is a manufacturer defect. They do sell uh, extended probes that you can attach to the defrost heater for around 20 bucks. I just use a 50 cent brazing rod. I curl it around the defrost heater and shove it down the drain. It works just as well, but I'll leave a link in the description to purchase the heat probe if you don't have brazing rods laying around as you can't buy them singly. Keep in mind though, some of these newer Whirlpool and GE fridges, they do the exact same symptoms in this video, but it's because of a rubber boot at the end of the drain line. Check out this video for how to fix that. But thank you so much for watching. Just gonna clean up this mess and this fix is done.